Hey guys, it is Friday, October 2nd, and uh, down here in the Carolinas, we got this little thing called Hurricane Joaquin hanging off the coast. And I don't think we're supposed to get a whole lot of wind inland, but we are supposed to get a whole lot of rain. So I'm hearing reports of anywhere five and eight and locally 12 inches of rain. Um, you know, what are the chances? Last week we started putting in the panels, got in the two posts, and then this. So I got to make a trip down there. I got 210 pounds of concrete. I'll show you. I got two more four by four posts that I'm going to put for the front or the bottom side of the panels. Um, and my hope is to try to get some quick reap around there. I'm going to dig down about six inches and uh, do like a two foot by two foot form out of two by sixes, I think. And I'm going to just try to concrete in around those um, four by fours. Uh, also going to shore up some of the braces that I have, put in some extra screws in the hopes that um, everything stays where it's supposed to stay through this download, download of uh, torrential rain. So um, I'm anxious to see what the pond looks like now and then at, at the end of this. So when I get down there, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Hey guys, welcome back to the off-grid cabin. I uh, just got down here. Right now, no rain. And... Looks like the water level's coming up a bit. Maybe a little more than a bit, but we still got a long way to go. So now I'm not so concerned about the flooding. Um, like I said, it's come up a bit, but not too much. Long way to go. Uh, I want to bring you all over to the solar panels. Hold on, we're gonna do this. Sorry about that movement, a little panoramic. Bam, still standing. All right, I'm gonna get two posts in the ground, hopefully get a form around it and put some concrete and uh, maybe put some plastic over the concrete and be ready for this tsunami. Stick around. All right, checking out the tote. We are at about 225 gallons. So not quite full, surprised. With all the rain that we had, at least back up where I live, I'm very surprised, but we're forecasted to get, like I said, five to eight and possibly up to 12 inches that is all right gang i got the adapter installed on the 100 pound liquid propane tank so that should be all set for my mr buddy heater in there and uh, just in time the weather's starting to cool off it's definitely not um heating weather yet but it's probably not too far off although we are supposed to be back up in the 80s next week and sunny again been a chilly cold damp week so far and we got that storm off the coast and I guess a low colliding with it I don't know um, so far no rain here since I've been here and I got this other thing I want to show you so sit tight all right so there it is I got the two posts in um, this isn't the way it's going to be forever this is the way that I had to get it in we wanted those two posts in there because it was going to um, it was going to split some of the weight between the back posts obviously we're going to put some in the front which is great I put the braces back on um, I put concrete around all four posts, so hopefully that's going to help me out here. Uh, it's that quick read, so it sets up relatively quickly. And uh, what I'm going to need to do is I got this Unistra. I'm going to need to cut some of that because it's touching the ground. And uh, right now it's at about, I don't know, it's probably the right angle for this time of year. I'm going to have to double check that. But in the winter time, I'm going to want to drop it down a little further. So I'm either going to need to do that from the bolt up there, which I'd rather not have to get up on a ladder, or I'm going to have to lower it from the bolt down here, but because it's all the way on the ground, I'm not going to be able to do that. So i got to cut it, which is cool. That's fine. When I go to raise it back up, I just got to make sure that I have enough. Actually, I'll probably put a bolt further up here, so that way I have room to play with it. Um, anyway, so that's what I got for right now. I will tell you, it was a near-death experience here. Um, when I took the second brace off, I did the first brace and I was going to take the second brace off, put the two posts in at the same time and move everything kind of at the same time. I took the second brace off and the ground has gotten so saturated that uh, the whole thing started to tip forward. So it leaned forward quite a bit, um, had to hold it up while I screwed the, the brace back in. And uh, I can't tell you, I was a little nervous about this whole thing coming crashing down. So uh, thankfully it didn't. So far it's held up. Cross your fingers, say a prayer. Hopefully this uh, storm doesn't knock anything down. All right. All right, guys, the uh, the wind's been picking up. It's been on and off all day. Uh, it's been raining on and off all day. Nothing too heavy yet. 
I got to tell you that since I put that in, it has um, stopped it from swaying. It would sway a little bit prior to that, uh, which is okay. I mean, I, I guess I guess you want it to bend and not break, right? Um, but I don't want it to bend too much, and it's really uh, quite a bit more rigid than it was prior to putting that in. So I'm sure the concrete is set up a little bit. It's been a couple of maybe three hours. Uh, but it probably, with all this rain that's coming, it will not be set up uh, entirely, I would imagine, for, you know, it's going to rain for the next five or six days. So maybe sometime next week it'll dry out enough to to be uh, in place for good. I'll be able to take down those braces. And then uh, sooner or later I'm going to work on that barrel project that I told you about right up in there. I'll just take one more look at the pond here and see how we're doing. You probably see the raindrops, all the lily pads out there. Yeah, I got a long way to go for this to fill up. So I would imagine I would need a, a lot of rain for this to fill up in this one storm. So I'm not too worried about it. Initially, I was concerned I'd get so much rain that it might threaten the cabin. Uh, but I'm not so concerned about that anymore. So, all right, that's it for this video. I... Uh, Hope to be back down here and spend the night. I, I decided not to spend the night down here because they're calling for flooding and all that. I just don't want to get caught down in the lowlands. I'm going to be home with El Familia, or La Familia, I guess. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying Spanish. All right, guys. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.